Hello guys, in this video I will answer your question number 5, Pure Math 3, Pearson and Excel A level exam. Exam was taken in January 2024. In this question you must show all the stages of your working. Solutions lying entirely on calculated technology are not acceptable. The temperature T degree Celsius of the air in room T minutes after a heat source is switched off is modeled by the equation T equals 10 plus A e to the power minus BT, where A and B are constants. Given that the temperature of the air in the room at the instant the heat source was switched off was 18 degrees Celsius. Find the value of A. In this equation, this T is the time after a source is switched off. Uh, therefore, when uh, at the instant the heat source was switched off, at the instant when the heat source is switched off means time is zero. And uh, here temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. So if you substitute these two values here, you will get the answer for A. Temperature is 18, 10 and plus A e to the power because time is 0, 0 multiplies something will be 0 and e to the power 0 is 1. Therefore, value of A will be equals to this 10 goes to the left side. You can subtract it and we get the answer for A as 8. So this is the answer for the first part. First part is very easy so you can do it in one or two steps. Now for second part, given also that the exactly 45 minutes after the heat source is switched off, like this is the time, the temperature of the air is in the room is 16 degrees. This is the temperature. Find the value of P. So we will substitute the values. We already got the value of 8, uh, value of A, that is 8. We substitute over there and then by substituting these two values in the above equation, you could get the value of B easily. Uh, let me write the equation here uh, for b t equals 10 plus a is 8 e to the power minus bt now you will substitute time is 45 minutes and temperature temperature is 16 degree so for temperature we will write here 16 substitute these two values in above equation we could get the value of b T is 16 equals 10 plus 8 e to the power value of T is 45 therefore we can write as minus 45 B. Now take this 10 to the other side it becomes 6 equals 8 e to the power minus 45 B. 8 will divide to the other side and we can write as minus e to the power minus 45 B equals 6 divided by 8 in simplest form answer is 3 over 4. To get rid of exponent, we take log of both sides. Implies that log of e to the power minus 45b equals to log 3 over 4. Let me tell you a formula for log e to the power x is always equals to x. Same way, this left hand side will be equals to minus 45b equals log 3 over 4. Uh, let me tell you about this one why, why it is equals to x because log e to the power x can be written as x uh, this power always multiply here comes here by using power rule in logarithms log e and log e equals to 1 that's why it is equals to x this is the reason anyways now you could get the value of p from here minus 1 over 45 log 3 over 4 and write in your calculator you will get the answer. We want the answer to three significant figures therefore we can round our answer to three significant figures. So answer in calculator is 0 0.00639. So this will be the answer. Uh, let me tell you about the significant figures. The zeros on the left side extreme left are not counted as significant. We will count only the numbers uh, to three significant figures. Uh, this is the answer for second part. For the next part, using the values for A and B, find according to the model the rate of change of temperature. Rate of change of temperature. We want to find this thing. Rate means with respect to time. Change of temperature means d dt. Temperature is here capital T. So we need to find here dt by dt. This is change in temperature and dt with respect to time. 
whenever there is a word rate, we always take with respect to time dt like that. Of air in the room exactly two minutes. This is the time taken, two minutes after the heat source was switched off. Give your answer in uh, degrees Celsius per minute, two theory significant figures. So because we got the answer for A and B as well. So we can substitute the value of B here in this equation. So I will take this equation. For C, let me write the equation here again. T equals to 10 plus 8 e to the power minus B T. 8 is the value of A. Uh, value of B, we got it in second part. Instead of writing this value for B, we will write the exact value of B here. This one is the exact value for B. So substitute this one here. We get the so equation becomes 10 plus 8 e to the power this minus and that minus makes it plus so we can write as 1 over 45 log 3 over 4 t so this is the equation now we want to find the value of dt over dt so we'll differentiate this uh, function with respect to t it will be dt by dt derivative of a constant number is 0 this will be 0 plus this is the exponential function so let me tell you a formula how to differentiate an, exp an exponential function d over dx e to the power f of x here like that if you want to differentiate such kind of function we write the exponential function as is and then we multiply the derivative of its power this is very basic formula this one you have to memorize in this form okay if you memorize this formula in this form you will never do mistake in this type of questions so first of all we write this function as is it is a constant so we'll write the exponential function as is 1 over 45 log 3 over 4 t and now we'll take the derivative of this power this number is constant number and derivative of t with respect to t is 1 so we will multiply the derivative of the power it will be 1 over 45 log 3 over 4 only because derivative of t is 1. Hopefully you understand this, uh, this step. So dt by dt will be equals to, you can multiply 8 with this number. It will be 8 over 45 log 3 over 4. This number will multiply by this one. We get this result and then write this exponent. So e to the power 1 over 45 log 3 over 4 t at t equals to 2 minutes we can find dt by dt 8 over 45 log 3 over 4 e to the power uh, this t is multiplying here therefore 2 will multiply with 1 over 45 it becomes 2 over 45 log 3 over 4 just substitute the value of t as 2 here we get this result now you can write this value as is in your calculator and you get the result as 2 3 significant figures uh, is minus 0 0.0505 so this is the answer this zero is significant if the zero is between the numbers known as significant okay and extreme left zeros are not counted as significant uh, so this is the answer to three significant figures this is the answer for part c last part explain why according to the model the temperature of the air in the room cannot fall to five degrees celsius look at this equation here we know that this is exponential function and exponential function cannot be zero or less than zero here limiting value for temperature is 10 degrees celsius uh, this is the answer we can write this answer that limiting value for the equation is 10 degrees celsius so it will not fall to 5 degrees celsius so this will be the answer you can write in your words uh, let me write that answer here for you the temperature has a lower limit of 10 degrees celsius therefore it will not fall to 5 degrees celsius so this is the answer for the last part. Question number 5 is done.